All right, I've got another trip video here for you guys. Uh, this time it's going to be Bog River Flow up to Lowe's Lake. There's a portage about 0.8 to Big Deer Pond. We'll paddle across Big Deer. We're going to make our way uh, another 2.2 mile portage to the upper Oswegatchie. And that way we can paddle over approximately 50 beaver dams and uh, make our way downriver past High Falls down to uh, Inlet uh, through the uh, Five Ponds Wilderness. So that's, uh, if you stick around, that's what you're going to get to see. To plan this trip, I'm using the Adirondack Paddlers map. We're uh, launching at Lowe's Lower Dam. We'll paddle into Hitchens Pond for a short portage and then up through the Bog River flow to uh, Lowe's Lake. And uh, at the end of Lowe's Lake, there's a portage to Big Deer Pond and then another big portage down to the upper Oswegatchie and then we'll follow that all the way to Inlet. So that's the plan. It's going to be three nights, four days in the Adirondack Wilderness. Little wood frog hopping around. There's uh, the hobble bush viburnum in fruit. Here's the parking area at Lowe's Lower Dam, the start of the uh, Bog River flow. Pretty busy, so we had to park a little further up the road. There's plenty of spots. We're all registered, we're ready to go. Got my paddle partner, Ron. Uh, here's uh, Lowe's Lower Dam where the launch is, and we're gonna get this going. We're uh, making our way up from Lowe's Lower Dam to the Upper Dam, uh, about to enter through uh, Hitchens Pond, and it's just gorgeous. Number two. We're working on reading the water. If, uh, if you don't follow the flow, you end up in the soupy grass. Here's site number three on a little rise, right before the uh, train trestle tracks. Here's Hitchens Pond. Maybe this is where some of our buddies camped uh, last autumn when they got caught in the, one of the first snowstorms of the season. What do we got? Site number six. Saying hello to these guys. <laughs> That's a, two Korean feeds, guys. <laughs> this is this is my unicorn right here. <laughs> Never this thought I'd be yeah. and, and a hammock camper. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. yeah. You're You're really sunglasses, dude. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> what's he What's he drinking? What do we got? There it is. Spiced rum. Here's site number seven, and we're coming up on the uh, upper dam. Yeah. Here we go. Here's the portage from uh, Hitchens Pond at the uh, upper dam, heading up to uh, Lowe's Lake. Some ruins on the trail here. It looks like they're doing some work on the upper dam. Here's another site. I think it says nine. Approaching the first bog in the flow. No choice here. Yep. Getting a bit cut off. Yeah, I think we can lift it through. Do a little shake on the on the uh, on the bog. <laughs> you got to bounce a little bit. Oh, there it's moving. Pretty wild. Here's some pitcher plants. Wow, 
lot of people watching are hoping Ron is about to fall in. Just waiting for a quick laugh. Slipping the boat through the side of another bog. Just a moment after the last. We're about two and a half hours into the paddle, moving along. Nice break in the clouds, sun's coming out a little bit. Passing a few sites here and there. Just working our way out to uh, Lowe's Lake. There's site 21, and over here is 22. Making good progress. We've been paddling about four and a half hours, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna continue on over to uh, Grass Pond and see what's available in there. Yeah, here's the famous site 27. Keep hearing everybody talk about this one. It's supposed to have a great view of the sunset. Of course, it's well taken. Taking a quick look at site 28. There we go. It's got a great view of the bog. It's the floating bog out there. Plenty of chaga out here. Just a little bit of coral mushroom. We skipped past uh, 27, 28. 28 was open, but uh, we want to check out Grass Pond. So we're still working our way in. Checking out 33 on Grass Pond. Yeah, here, here it is, right up here, Site 31. Very nice. Might not be able to see the sunset. I think it's going to set over those cliffs, but uh, but this is just perfect. Got some brew going, so I'll give you guys a sheltered tour. I've got a Sea Line 115 bag, 115 liter bag. That's what I'm using for this trip. Easy to pack. Also packed pretty light, so I'm not filling it up. Uh, Ten car gear might get to use that this weekend, I hope. Uh, the uh, the tarp is a war bonnet tarp with the spreader bars, and then inside I've got the uh, Jacks are better bridge hammock. And a zero degree under quilt from Jacks are better, and a zero degree top quilt from uh, Hammock Gear. So, been fishing, haven't got a bite, haven't even seen a rise. Won't stop me though, I'll keep fishing, see what happens. Water's perfectly flat, a couple bugs skimming around. That's that's our site with the smoke coming out. All right, finally hooked into a bass. Took off the Texas rig, the uh, worms. Whew. Not very big, but a largemouth bass. Hunger is the best spice. 
Yeah, that'll be good. Some hazelnut coffee this morning. Here's my whole sleep system. Little uh, Sea to Summit pillow, some tent pegs, my uh, war bonnet superfly tarp, my underquilt and overquilt, and then my uh, Jacks are better uh, uh, bridge hammock is in there. So. All right, be free. We didn't have you for dinner or breakfast. Heading out, there's site 31, beautiful site on Grass Pond. Making our way to site one. There's the canoe carry already, nicely marked. All right, here we go, saying goodbye to Bog River Flow, making our way to Big Deer. There it is. That was pretty mellow for a portage trail. Pretty, pretty even terrain. Not much more than what you see here. This is Big Deer Pond here. Real pretty. A couple loons in the distance. Check this out, it must have been a tadpole in the weeds that I pulled into the boat. No fish, but we caught a frog. My Sherpa. Here's the beaver dam at point six. got it better than us. Here's somebody's wheels. That's one way to get through the portage trail. Here's the mailbox. I think, yep, well, the mailbox register. Nice bear's tooth on the trail. Yeah. Ah, this is it. The end of the 2.2. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, here's the spring down at the at the end of the trail. Clean and cold. Oh, 
This is campsite four at the end of the portage. And I think three is just a bit further down trail. All right, here's the start of the Azguachi, the upper Azguachi. We went over what I think was our first beaver dam. We just paddled right over it. It rained two days ago. So we're hoping that the water level's high enough that we can paddle over a few of them and don't have to carry over a full 50. There's number three. This is the first one we, <laughs> we got to start getting out. There it is. Beaver dam number 12, trout number two. Here's site five. Yeah, if you walk in a bit, maybe. There's a bush toilet, site six, I think. Interesting site. Wow. Hey, you're floating away. Fish on, first cast. Chartreuse, good call, Scott S. Brody. Great upstream. Yeah, fishing upstream is the way to go. We're paddling downstream. Ron just put on a chartreuse, uh, what is it, a spinner? Yeah, put Bruce, a rooster tail. Martin Panther Martin. With a little there it is. crappy. Yeah. Really. Good call from uh, S. Brody using the chartreuse. That's a beauty. Look at that. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Here's site eight, just an opening. We're looking to find some hammock trees, so that's not gonna work for us. Moving on. Don't forget about the fishies. Nice. Just paddle through a maze of rocks. Nice mess of elderberry. Yeah. Site nine. We're gonna take it. It's getting dark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A little bit of soup, some trout. We'll cook up some uh, brats. 
some rice. That'll be dinner with a view. Supposed to cook over the coals. All right, dinner is served. Some Noor rice medley and a pan full of trout. Eat the jowl. You eat the jowl. Did he eat it? You eat the jowl. There it is. <laughs> Puts all the meat off that fish. The Heathcliff. Yeah. There's round two. Even ate the jowls. We're just finishing getting packed up. It's uh, day three, the morning, and uh, we're at campsite number nine. Nice site. The plan is to uh, paddle down to High Falls, fish a bit along the way. There's a short portage at High Falls, and then what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll keep paddling to about campsite 25, where there's a trail to the uh, Five Ponds Wilderness. That'd be cool to check out. I'm hoping we get a chance to do that, that we have the time today. And uh, and then we'll camp around there, around, around Site 25 on the river, and then just paddle out to Inlet tomorrow morning. And that's where our car has already been shuttled by a Racket River Outfitter, so it'll be there waiting for us. Here's the view from Site 10. I think it's 10, we don't see a marker. Here's the start of the High Falls Portage coming up. Whoa, beauty. Look at this guy, he's supposed to be making us sandwiches. He sneaks down here, he's fishing. I just tied this on, I'm wondering, I'm wondering where my fishing rod went. Where's the screen? Unbelievable. Lean to at High Falls. Checking out the sites, uh, 23, 25. This is where the trail is to Five Ponds, so I think we're gonna stick around here and, and uh, do that do that hike.
we just set up at site 25, 23 is taken, uh, but they're right next to each other. And there's a trail here that's going to lead to the Five Ponds Wilderness. So we're going to go check that out, have some lunch over there. Fresh. Got some? Huh? Got some? Oh yeah. There's a nice pine. Five Ponds is supposed to have some of the biggest old growth in the area. Here's the lean to it, uh, big shallow coming up. Never seen this before. Neat little trick. I guess you hang your bag, your pack, your food here. The mice can't get down to it. Big shower is a crock of sh. Let's go. Little trail nibble of oh, oxalis. Man. Not to me. No. Lemony? Yeah. I'm sinking. <laughs> you, you gonna help me? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Those used to be green. <laughs> Almost there. This is it, the final morning. Campsite's cleaned up, fire's out. We have about a three and a half hour paddle now to inlet. Five. It's the last morning, we're gonna paddle down past Brook Brook Lean 2, Griffin Rapids, past High Rock, and uh, make our way to inlet where our car is at. Should be about three and a half hours. <clears throat> so we, we haven't been counting all the dams. Some of them are just uh, fallen trees that have been cut to create a section to paddle through. A lot of the dams we were able to paddle over. It did rain a bit two, uh, two days ago, two days before we started the trip, it rained a bit, which helped us probably raise water levels so we could paddle over most of it.
the dams we did come by, no biggie. Just uh, get out, get back in. Cranberry viburnum, trilobum. Getting closed in on by alders. That's Buckbrook. Buckbrook lean to. We just saw a bear swim across the river. Here's uh, 38, the Griffin Rapids lean to. High rock. Forty-five. This is it. The end of Bog River flow to inlet. Great trip. <laughs> this is all right. We did it. 